It's a beautiful day in New York. I'm lying. No, it's not. No, I'm not lying. It really is a good day. It's uh, it's always a good day. Everything is how you look at it. You got to look at things in a positive manner. Holy shit. There's a freaking power line hanging down from that telephone pole back there. I almost ran over that son of a bitch. Um, anyway, um, I am just doing some basic running around today. I had to go get my hair did. Um, it was time for a haircut. It's getting too damn bushy. Still a little bushy now, but kind of like it. Anyway, um, so yeah, everything's how you look at it. There's a million things that can get you down every day, but and if you let it, it will. It will. You got to stay positive. Like right now, I'm tired of plowing snow. I've only been out plowing snow like seven times. What the hell is today? Today is. I hate Niagara Falls. People walk out in front of you all the time. Ugh, I hate cities. I don't like cities at all. I'm not a city guy. I'm a freaking country boy, and I don't do cities. I don't like them. I like the money they give me for plowing commercial lots, but other than that, and mowing commercial lots, but I don't like cities. Anyway, yeah, today is uh, January 20th, and I've been out plowing like seven times. Normally by now, I've been out a hundred times. Not really, but I've been out a lot normally. Um, I don't want to freaking be out plowing anymore. I want to be mowing like everybody else. So that's one thing that could definitely get you down. But you know what? I'm excited as hell about this season coming up. And so I just keep thinking about that and uh, doing all the maintenance prep, all the things I'm changing on my equipment, things like that, getting it all prepared for the new season coming up. So that's uh, that's keeping me in a good mood, keep me going. I don't have a whole hell of a lot going on today. I did, uh, I come up with this idea. And my idea is, in years past, what I do is when I'm bagging, so let me turn this radio down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Give me some copyright shit on YouTube. Not that I really care, but um, in years past, what I've done is I, when I'm mowing a lawn, especially springtime when I'm bagging a lot, um, I try double cutting whatever I can so that I don't have to bag, um, just to fan that, uh, fan all the grass and stuff out. But when, uh, when I'm not double cutting and I'm actually bagging, I just dump the baggers in the bed of the truck. The crappy part about that is at the end of the day, you know, you got a shovel, pitchfork, whatever, all that crap out of there. Now, I have one of them rollout things that you clip onto the tailgate and you crank it and it pulls all the stuff out. Um, I never used it at the end of the season this past year. A uh, buddy of mine had it and, and he gave it to me, so... Um, I, I have it to use. He says it works phenomenal. But the crap part about that is, is usually in the summertime, um, beginning of the season, I hook my trailer up to this truck, and I don't take that trailer off. Um, if I gotta run somewhere after, you know, when I've done work for the day or whatever, over the weekend, if I'm just doing some running around or whatever, um, I either take my wife's van or I take the other truck. You know, I don't. I hate hooking and unhooking a trailer. It's just not like it's hard it's just pain in the ass why do it if i don't have to so as far as having that rollout thing in the back of the truck to empty all the grass out um you really got to take the trailer off to do it otherwise you're dumping all that stuff on the tongue part on the front of your trailer and you're only going to get so much off anyway then you're what are you going to do run over it you know <laughs> with the trailer and everything else to get out from wherever you're dumping it and so it's kind of stupid um it, it's not stupid. It's stupid for me to do. It's something I don't want to do. So my idea was I'm going to get a, like, four or five brute garbage cans, the bigger ones, put them in the bed of the truck, and then I will, uh, you know, while I'm mowing, I'll just empty my baggers into those garbage cans at the end of the day, just pull the cans out, dump them, throw the cans back in the truck. It was a good idea. Um, I know they can get heavy, so obviously, you know, how much I fill them each time will make a determining factor, especially if grass is wet or dry. You know, I, I already know all that, so um, I'm sure the comments would flow at the bottom here about keeping an eye out for that. So I've already thought of that, I've considered that. Um, and another thing, um, I factored in, 
I factored in what it would cost for all of that, um, for the garbage cans and stuff, which, you know, it's not overly expensive for what I'm getting out of it. Brute cans last a long time. So I come up with this other idea. What about the blue, like 55 gallon plastic drums? I'll use those and I'll just take the lids off them. I'll take a jigsaw and I'll cut handles in each side and uh, I'll just use those. There's a place, it's actually in Rochester, it's a little ways away from, Rochester's about an hour and a half from me, but there's a place I saw on Craigslist in Rochester that sells those for eight bucks a barrel. That's a hell of a lot cheaper than 40, 50 bucks a, a can for Brutes. And they're a lot stronger than Brutes. Um, so I thought maybe I could do that, but I really didn't want to drive all the way out to Rochester. So I just threw something up on Facebook, a picture of one of those barrels. Said, hey, if anybody knows where I can get these locally, give me a heads up. A buddy of mine contacts me right away. He says, man, we got a ton of those at work. You can have them if you want them. They're free. I'll just, I'll drop them off at your house. I said, cool. He goes, how many you want? I said, I don't know. He goes, I was like six. You want six? And I said, yeah, that'll work. So the next day he dropped six of them off in my driveway. They're sitting in my driveway right now. They didn't cost me a damn thing. Um, but they're the type where there's no lids on top. They just have the two holes on top that the cap screw in. They're actually, they're called bung the holes. I know it sounds funny if you guys remember the old Beavis and Butthead days. If you don't, look it up. It's funny. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to drill a hole in the top that I get the jigsaw in there. And I'm going to freaking cut the, cut a circle, cut the whole top out of it. I'll leave the edges so it'll still be strong. It'll hold its top strength so the edges won't be flapping in. Um, and then I'm just going to cut the handles in the side like I was going to do before. Now I have six of them, and they were free. You know, and uh, I compared them to the uh, a brute of the same size. I think the biggest brute I could find was a 50 gallon. Um, I compared it to that, and with the uh, with the 55 gallon drums, they are. Uh, being five gallons more than the biggest brute can I could find, um, they barely weigh any more at all. I really, that was one of the things I was worried about. I really expected the 55 gallon drum to be a lot heavier. It really wasn't. So I was like, all right, well that's cool. So uh, so I have six of them, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna throw them in the bed of the truck, and uh, that's where I'll dump my baggers in. Now when I get to one, I have like three or four different places where I can dump off grass. So. What I'll do now is just pull in there, pull the cans out, dump them off, throw the cans in the back of the truck. It'll be 10 times faster, 10 times easier. And uh, so that's one more thing that I'm doing to improve things for this season since, you know, if you guys have been following along, you see I'm going uh, I'm going solo this year. So you guys, if, like I said, if you guys have been following along, you saw that. This is just one more thing to help me out and make things easier on me. So that's a project. I'm not sure that I'll do that today. I might just wait. I might just wait. I am in no hurry to do it. It won't take me long at all to cut those out. So I figure I'll give it a little bit of time. Uh, I'll wait till I know it's done snowing. That way the cans aren't going to fill up with snow just sitting there. Um, I could just flip them over upside down. But I don't know. I'll do that when I get time to, to get to it and get those done. Um, but I'll show you those cans so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, before I before I add in this video, I'll put it. I'll add it as another little video in the end of this one, so it's all tied together. But uh, I'm not really doing much else today. Uh, I had to go plow a little bit yesterday, clean out a couple driveways and stuff. And uh, like I said, when I got my hair cut this morning, I just left there, and I think I'm gonna go have some breakfast. And, uh, I'm helping a buddy of mine. He's he got a job um, renovating a garage. It's a two-car garage. It's pretty freaking big, and it uh, it's pretty big. And the guy just wanted the inside gutted. He just bought the house, wanted all the drywall and everything out of it, and uh, just left open studs so it can air out because the vents that they put in the eaves they didn't do it right first off and then they sealed them all up so the whole freaking place can't breathe there's too much moisture in there. there's a propane heater that's attached to the wall in there a blue flame and uh and that because propane's so cold when that burns it puts even more moisture in the air so this place hasn't been able to breathe the right way and uh so you know we told him chances are you're opening a can of worms you know opening these walls up 
but uh, he said, nah, it'll be fine. Just I want you guys to demo the inside. He, there's a dumpster he had delivered, brought outside. He wants to demo. Well, we tore the drywall off one wall, and we could literally take our fingers and push them right into the studs. Rotted right to shit. The seal plate along the header plate, the header plate along the top of the wall. We, I took out a pocket knife, opened up, went whoop, stuck it right up in. I mean, it's that thick. Went whoop, right in done that thing's rotted right out the seal plate along the bottom of the floor same thing rotted right out i don't know how that place is even still standing so he told me he goes you pretty much have two choices one we can frame up walls inside those walls and redo them and we're gonna at the same time gonna have to jack up the roof because that's starting to sink a little bit um or you pretty much tear the place down and go without a garage or you can tear it down and build a whole new garage those are your choices well, he didn't like any of them. He sure the hell didn't like the price of any of them, but I guess he finally settled on just rebuilding all the walls. <coughs> Jacking the roof back up. We're gonna raise the roof up, jack it up, build new walls, stick them under there, and drop the roof back down on it. And then, that's the other thing, trusses were built by some idiot. I don't know who the hell built the trusses that go across the roof in there, but they're a freaking mess too, and they're half ass like you wouldn't freaking believe. No stability to them at all. So we're restructuring those as well. And I don't know, if it was me, I'd have just tore the whole damn thing down and put up a pole barn type garage. You know, my cousin just did one two years ago, the same exact size as two and a half car. He ordered it from some factory out of Ohio. It came to his house, it's like 26 by 30 or something like that. Uh, two bay door and a man door. It came right to his house, a complete freaking kit. The only thing that wasn't in the kit were the two actual garage doors. Um, but it was like 6,500 delivered to his house right here in New York um, from Ohio and in a weekend we put it up. It was put up done in a weekend um, All he had to do like I said is buy the garage doors and then he had to do the floor and the electrical himself That wasn't included, but it was the main building it really wasn't a bad price. It's a beautiful building really nice um, All the aluminum sides the aluminum roof fucking all the wood the structure and everything even came with the sonal tubes to stick in the ground just put your posts in everything and it was it was great it was a nice building but that's what i think this guy should have done he's already got the two garage doors all we have to do is take them out of this building and the man door take it out of this building and then put up the new one and stick them into the new building it would have been a hell of a lot cheaper on than what he's paying to have this whole thing reconstructed now but and the floor is already in it everything else so i don't know but, uh, so that's the plan. I don't know when we're going to start that. I thought maybe today, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. But uh, I'm just rambling on here, I guess, guys, kind of giving you updates on what's going on with me and what I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said, I'm going to call him up, see if he wants to go to breakfast, meet me at breakfast, and uh, go from there. But, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess, for now. Like I said, I'm going to add a video in. Uh, before I end this one of the uh, those drums, so you guys can see exactly what I was talking about. And, uh, who the hell knows? Maybe we'll add in some more oddball stuff in this one. All right, guys. So these are the drums I was talking about. They are. It's cool. It actually, as the gallon size, I don't know if you can see it right up the side. All the way up to 50 gallon is right there. So another five. 55 gallon drums, and usually these lids are on. There's a band around them that holds them on. Um, Actually, these probably come off because they got arrows there pointing that way and arrow here pointing this way. So they probably screw on and off. Um, but if they don't, I'm just going to write down this groove. I'm going to drill a hole in there. I'm going to take a jigsaw and go right around there and cut out that top part. And then the sides here, I'll just cut a handle. Probably up here more. And that's what I'm going to do. And there is another five of them right there. So six of them total. And that's the plan. That's all I was talking about. Alright, so here they are. I guess I decided to just do it today. So I took the little cheap Harbor Freight jigsaw there that I got. Um, I usually buy name brand and everything, but it's something I barely ever use. So I grabbed a cheap one. Anyway, I took the drill there and I drilled holes in the top. And then I cut all the way around cut the tops out and i drilled holes down in the sides and uh i used a jigsaw and cut handles out so super light move them right around 
and they're done.